Well, good day, tubes. How's she going today? So, whoa, almost fell off the stairs. <laughs> um, I've been super swamp busy again today. So, today we've been uh, funeral. Uh, what else was there? What else was there? Was there? Uh, geez, I haven't cut any grass or weed whacked anything today. Just been busy with funeral and stuff. Got her dug last night and uh, set her up this morning. Good to go. You never believe what I found though out here. This is wow. <laughs> I've got a solution for this problem, and uh, hopefully, if someone hits this, they're gonna wreck the car. But anyways, uh, I gotta switch cameras and I'll show you what's going on here. There you go. So I just spread this crap out. Remember that little job we did with the eaves trough there? Uh, and then of course the weeds started spreading, so I got my big torch out today and just cooked them, so hopefully that'll kill all them. But uh, check this out. People have been cutting this corner here. See what they do? I have no idea. They'll come in the main road here. Instead of just coming right up here, they'll actually go like around the circle and come up here and then turn and then go this way. And they've been cutting over the edge and wrecking the stuff here and so I put these couple of two benches here, so if they you know run into that, yeah, they could wreck the car. Frickin' knobs, but look at this here. Within inches of running over the pipe. Inches! That's literally two inches from the, the edge of that tire there. Like, really? And like there's another one here that someone's like yanked it over here, and it's probably because there's someone else coming this way. So these people automatically think they gotta get it right over to the building, you know? And like I can see this guy drove here. Kept on going right here. You can see where it's all flattened down and eventually got back out on the road. It's like, really? Wow. So I seen that. That just totally, totally ticked me off. So I'm like, okay, I got a couple little rotten benches that I'll throw there. And uh, yeah, if they hit that, nice, nice knowing on the side of your car, you freaking knob. Holy. But uh, these poor things are pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, pretty rough. So. There's not much left of the wood on some of these. Actually, that one's a better one, I think. This is the one that all ripped apart. Yeah. Well, you could sit on her if you want, but uh, I'm not really wanting to. So, <laughs> but anyways, uh, just over here at the truck, I want to check, checking some things on it. And uh, I think I've kind of maybe sort of found the problem, but I don't know how to fix it myself with um, this Dewey on the... Uh, oh, yeah, another thing, too show you that in a sec let's get over here first so it's got the charcoal canister and everything's hooked up ready to go went to test everything you know to see if stuff would click on and off and there's still like a the big big tester I was using that even to test the individual things where like you can turn these on and off the sensors on and off, or the solenoids on and off it just does a complete evap system failure I'm like oh so it leads me all back to that sensor and of course I tried to pull it out and just like the other one, you hardly touch it and it snaps off the top. Oh my goodness, really? But I do actually have another one ordered already. I ordered one from Rock Auto there hmm, three or four days ago. So it should be here. And it keeps pointing everything towards this, that stupid little sensor there. So I thought, well, I'll try a new one. I'm trying to get that one out today. And of course, poink, off she comes. I'm like, really? But anyways, I got all the wiring tore apart here. There's two things. This is for your uh, fuel pump and, you know, sending unit and stuff and the level thingy and sensor and everything. And this one here is for your, your sensor. Now, I know one of them sends your voltage. One of them is, oh, I can't think of it, and the other one's a ground. And I do believe it's this black one that is the ground, which I thought, okay, maybe I'll tear all this apart because I've seen a little... I seen a little grounder thingy there and it's coming out of this harness but of course it's not for this wire it's for the fuel system so I'm like really <laughs> crap so I started peeling it apart more and uh, it eventually just goes under there and it's gone somewhere but I for some reason cannot touch my uh... let me focus this for you touch my uh... Uh, oh, for corn flakes, my memory's not working. The thing on my Dewey thing that goes beep when you touch them together, you know, continuity tester. So, if I touch this one and then touch it to the frame, 
If this is grounded out right, you should, I would think, as far as I know, unless I'm thinking of something not thinking right, you should get a beep, which I didn't. Now, if I touched, whoa, crap. If I touched and turned my thing to the ohms thingy, uh, to, to, this, to this one here, the black, to the frame, which isn't really good because this doesn't mean anything really, but I was getting fairly high uh, resistance in that wire, so I don't know if it's a problem with this ground wire, but it just gets buried itself into this, this loom stuff and uh, follows it all the way up the side of the truck, and then I don't know there's a great big huge thing of that under there, so I don't have like the special little dewey where you can actually shoot a current or something up there to, oh, hi Chip. You're gonna see a bit more of this guy a little later on. Hey buddy, what are you, what are you up to? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have the thing where you can actually shoot a current up there to see, you know, they, basically they'll tell you if there's a problem, like 10 feet up or whatever, it'll tell you, you know, it's getting whatever dewy there. I don't know exactly how those work, but I know they do have them. Same thing the guy used for when he was testing my cable at the house there. So, and then if you do the, the, whatchamacallit test, um, with just your, your DC on, on the tester, and you test, I think it was this one, I can't remember off the top of my head, this one and that one I think or something, you get that 5 volts, which I know you're supposed to get, and that's the maximum you're supposed to get. Which, I guess when it's not hooked to a sensor, is probably normal. I, I don't know. See, I don't know, know, know enough about this kind of wiring stuff and all this garbage and stuff to figure this really out. So, I'm kind of debating whether when I get that new sensor, just plug her in and drive on until this thing falls to the ground. But I've only got till my birthday in November when i got to have the e-test again and then it won't pass the test. So, as soon as they hook it up, they'll say, oh, problem there, it won't even pass. So, uh, I might... Uh, keep just driving it like this until that fuzzy time <laughs> till that time and then uh, maybe just get something different because like it like I know you've all been saying like this thing is tired <laughs> it still runs fine still got lots of pep under the hood you know but it's just done for 2001 it's a 2001 and uh, 368,000 Kawaja Hama hoppers I think on it now so um, let's just double make sure that I was even thinking the little sense or the fuse up at the front for the EVAP system might have been shot too, but it's fine. 367,845 kilometers. So, yeah, I think she's done pretty good. So, I'm going to probably get her to my birthday ish. And then uh, you actually get till the end of, I think, your month of your birthday. I think how it works. And, uh, oh my goodness. And then you get, um, then you're legally driving. So, uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> this is not all. If you click the camera on and you can't remember what you're going to say. But anyways, I'll think of something here. I can't remember anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the way she's working. But, um, oh, did I lock that stupid thing. Take it. Take it. But anyways, uh, I think there is something wrong with that wiring. It, the, the set, the scanner says um, tank pressure sensor voltage low. So I don't know. It could be just the sensor. I'm gonna get the new one coming in. Pop the new sensor in. Try her out. Who knows? Freaking sensors everywhere on these stupid vehicles. It's so stupid. Stupid sensors. But uh, <laughs> I got a little bit of footage to put on the end of this video from earlier today there um, we were actually out having coffee there and this uh, little chippy come around and uh, he was pretty cute and stiff and uh, uh, he I found where he was living his home his little hole little tiny hole they go in so I got some video footage of him Bart me jumping into uh, his hole with his mouth full of stuff right so and then very patiently we we're waiting for him to come back out and I guess he didn't realize I was there so uh, <laughs> but uh, should be good hope you enjoy that 
Um, got to be patient though because it's a lot of waiting, <laughs> but we got them. And, uh, and yeah, so we got a new pool. Um, that other one, a uh, freaking stupid thing. I ain't going to chase and leaks around that. So I got one a little smaller too. So maybe a little easier to manage with the chemicals and stuff, but I'll uh, show you what that looks like right now. Well, that's the new one. It's not huge, but it's enough they can, kitties can get in and if I'm crazy enough to get in and, you know, cool yourself off. Although mine is freaking 10 today. Yesterday was like plus 40 with a humid X. So but anyways, I just chopped out the bottom of that one. Use it for like a, uh, bottom basey thing. Come with the new pump. This is an eight foot pool apparently from, I guess from that ring side to that ring side. Or maybe it's actually the underneath bulge part to that bulge part is eight feet. Uh, $59 with a pump and everything. Holy, I'm like, that's all right. Because I don't know why I cannot get a flat enough area to put a big pool like this. Like they gotta be bang right on perfect. This one's actually sitting not too, too bad because it's so small, but the bigger the pool, the more and perfect the more level you got to have your ground and if you don't have it perfect <laughs> the thing will be sitting loppy sided and it'll sink all itself in and you know and stuff like that so see how is that for me eh, not too bad don't drop the phone <laughs> in the pool you should check my little chlorine thingy there i've just started it last night and put the algicide in and put the recommended starting chlorine in um, but I haven't, uh, I put a little puck in there too, so it's actually probably a little higher than it should be able to smell it, so that's good, I guess, but, um, I'm still not quite clear on the pH and the alkalinity stuff from crap I got. I did a test this morning, and it seemed to be okay. I got those little, those little dippy test strips you stick in, and then you look at 15 seconds, and then you read it. Um, it seemed to be good and then all of a sudden I guess you're supposed to take the reading and then that's your reading you don't leave it and check it later because later worse later on more I checked it the more the, <laughs> the color started changing and I'm like holy cow that's really really high that's really really high that's not good but I don't think that's actually what you're supposed to do so uh, let's just see here oh crap well the little granules are gone but the the puck's still in there so Guess that's good. We'll just let them float around there for a little more. And uh, I don't know why that just popped off, but uh, I can't grab it right now. But anyways, I'll have to uh, do another test tomorrow, I guess, and see uh, how she's looking. Another hardest thing to do too is get the bottom thing perfectly smooth. I didn't do too bad. The bigger ones are even harder. But um, oh, I, I oh, I just get that ooky feeling in my my. Uh, uh, in your bones because last night I was pulling on it and you can kind of grab the bottom and just give it a little tug and like one of my fingernails bent over backwards and oh I can still feel it, it just oh, feels nasty but anyways <laughs> so yeah a little pool for cooling off looks like I'm gonna have to get one of them top skimming thingies because I already got dead flies in it but I guess that's a good thing the chlorine's killing the flies so sweet um, and this is just a little I don't know little pump Nothing super major, but it works. The air in the lines there. The air in the lines. It's funny, these lines were like perfectly clean white, like this stuff here last night. Now they're sort of turned yellow. I don't know if that's from the chlorine or what, but yeah, she's working. No jumping. No sloping ground. See, they don't want you. Well, yes, yeah, something like that, but. Um, no sitting on the top either. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that. No diving. You think? It's only 20 inches deep. Stay away from drains and suction fittings because, you know, those great big pumps going to suck you right through and then blah, 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 out the other side. Yeah, okay. Should I see if there's any air trapped in here? Oh, there's a little bit. The air all out. Check that in a couple of days, too, and see how it is there. A cleanable washer outer filter too which is nice but uh, yeah 60 bucks I uh, could have got a 10 10 foot which was like 79 or something I'm like ah oh, this this would be fine for for our two kids for jumping in and and uh, cooling off but yeah like today you don't need it because it's like freaking cold out here weird yesterday was so wicked hot today's so freaking cold <laughs> well that's the way she works that's it for today uh just swamp day kind of thing 
haven't really had time for doing anything except going pee and that's about it. <laughs> oh. So uh, I gotta run some uh, power for this pump out here. And uh, I got the old uh, masty thing down from the wall on this side of the house here that they used to use for cell phone way back that uses it had a horn attached to it so if my wife's mother needed um, needed her dad uh, he just she just plugged in that horn and gave it a and that was it so <laughs> that's before cell phones right so I took that down and I got a hole already there I just got to run the the uh, conduit back through it and to the box and do the wiring on the inside wire a dewey on the outside with a GFI thingy and uh, should be good so um, I don't know when I'm gonna do that but I got to get all the bits first I don't have the bits you know the watertight box and whatever those waterproof boxes with uh, for the electrical stuff I haven't got that so I have to go to Home Depot and do some shopping I guess but anyways um, one other thing, I did start up a new channel for the motorcycle stuff. Now I'm going to post a, a Dewey on the bottom Dewey thing, the description. And uh, for a link to that, it's not fully set up yet. I do have one video on there just for testing purposes, make sure everything's okay. And that's just the uh, the bonus, um, uh, bonus motorcycle video ride thing from the other day too. Uh, and just threw that one on there now just for just for testing purposes, right? So um, So if you wanted to you could subscribe to that if you like to tonight, I'll put the link you of course in the bottom Dewey there and um, And yeah, so I'm gonna start posting on my motorcycle stuff onto there So if you don't like motorcycle stuff, don't go subscribe to it Because <laughs> I don't want all the bitching so um I know a lot of you do like the motorcycle stuff, so go ahead and subscribe, you know, and then you'll be notified whenever I do up something new there for you. So I don't know how often it's going to be. I got to really get my uh, other helmet going with my little lapel mic thing. I'm actually thinking, I'm looking at my, 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 uh, helmet, <laughs> trying to think where in the heck am I going to attach this thing? And I'm thinking, hmm, I've well, got the thing on, flip it open, lapel mic the thing right here, <laughs> or maybe up here. Do, 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 do. Well, it won't be hanging like that, you know, but hang it like off the whiskers and then it'll, you know, be kind of sort of up here and I can blah, 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 at you kind of thing. So <laughs> I think that'll work, you know, you know, if I don't shave this off, we'll have somewhere to hold our mic to. So, but, uh, anywho, uh, I think that's it for today. I don't think there's anything else. I did get another piece of something from Rock Auto there for the car. I noticed it had, uh, <coughs> when I was doing the brakes on it last, it had a a bad steering tie rod end. I keep thinking ball joint, but it's a tie rod end on the on the steering dewey. It was a little clunky, so I got it uh, in yesterday. But um, they come with like no paint on them. It doesn't really matter. But I gave her a shot of primer. <laughs> you know why not? Eh? But uh, that one wasn't replaced that long ago either, and it's shot too. Like, wow, auto parts nowadays are just getting crappy for some reason. I don't know. I don't know, but um, it's not bad enough that it's dangerous, but you can actually hear it clunk, 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 clunk when you're moving the wheels. So, better put one on. So, that you gotta be really careful of um, that you don't uh, screw up and you put it on, thread it on the exact same amount of threads. So, if you don't, you'll. I have one wheel going like this, and this wheel will be going crooked. <laughs> and then you have to go get an alignment done. Which, if you're careful and you do it, you don't screw up too much, and you take the jam nut off the back of that knuckle thing. You know, take it, just take it off, and then unscrew it, and then screw the other one back on. Just crank it back on. You should be fine. Should be fine. I've never had a problem doing that yet, and. Uh, yeah, so the only other thing is when these joints like this, like this one's come loose, I guess, inside of the knuckle part, inside the joint part, the only difficult thing is trying to get that nut off again. Oh, I gotta go see that guy. Uh, a lot of times you just, and it just spins inside of the thing, so sometimes you gotta and cut, cut it off with a torch, so. But uh, anyways, uh, there's a little bit of footage too coming up right after this about that chipmunk today, and I hope you enjoy her. He's real cute and stuff, so. Um, 
can't believe how many peanuts they can stuff in their face. It's just insane. But anyways, thanks for watching today. Sorry it was just a talk and vlog. There wasn't much going on. I just didn't really get into much today. So tomorrow, again, I don't know. We'll see what happens when we get there. But uh, have a good night. Actually, tomorrow I, sh I should really do that electrical work. Um, but like I said, I've got my bits. So, But anyways, thanks for watching again. Uh, go check out the uh, motorcycle vlog video. And if you can, go check out my nephew's channel. I'll put a link for him too on the bottom. Oh, wait, I remember that. And... Um, and he's starting to make videos. He's got a new camera, and I don't think he shot a video with it yet or posted one yet with a new camera. He's got a nice Sony camera now, so it should be, instead of having like, you know, the black lines on each side of the Dewey, <laughs> it should be a full, you know, full screen thing. So, should be good. But anyways, thanks for watching again. Um, we'll catch you tomorrow, and uh, have a good night. And I'll show you maybe two tomorrow testing the pool with those little strippy things. Um, and that too, I don't know how accurate those things really are. You're I don't know. You can do the ones with the, the liquid chemicals, but I thought, mm. I've seen an electronic one the other night. That was kind of cool, but I'm like, mm. eh. <laughs> so this gets you close, I guess, but um, they got all the chemicals all over there at the crappy tire, too, like the pH up, pH down. You can add the acid to it to make it, you know, neutral and stuff. And I don't know. It's all freaking stupid. I have to go to school just to learn how to set up a pool, but anyways, as long as it's not growing crap and it doesn't go cloudy, we're good. Hmm. Horsepower. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow. What are you doing, buddy? Get your peanuts. Down he goes. <laughs> I don't know how he fits. Gotta be patient. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Did you get some peanuts?